Hello, this is Jumpstart Read for the Record Day, and on this day, millions of people around the world are reading the same book. Um, and the book is With Lots of Love by Jenny Torres Sanchez. This is about a young girl who moves from her home country to a new home in the United States. And when she moves, she misses her homeland. And most of all, she misses her grandmother, her abuela. So we're going to read this story and find out more about it. I hope you'll enjoy it. One of the things in this story that talks about is a piñata. You've probably seen one of these before. This is not a star. It's a little horse piñata, or actually a unicorn piñata that I've had for many years. But normally a piñata has got candy in the bottom, and children will hit this with a stick until it breaks and all the candy falls out. You've probably seen a piñata, or maybe you've had a chance to break one open before. But in this story, a piñata is very important part of the story, and it's one of Rocia's gifts from her abuela. Today's book is With Lots of Love, by, written by Jenny Torres Sanchez and illustrated by Andre Ciel, and, and it was published by Viking Books. This is about a young girl named Rocio who has moved from her homeland to a new home in another country, and she misses her abuela, her grandmother, and her other relatives, and she misses her homeland. So let's see what happens in this story, With Lots of Love. And you see the picture of Rocia with her grandmother, Abuela. Rocia had a new home, but she really missed her other home, the little house where she used to live with Abuela, Tia Rosa, and her cousins. She missed Abuela's small grocery store, where her grandmother sold fresh fruits and vegetables, pan dulce, and ice pops made of watermelon, mango, and coconut cream. Rocio used to visit um, Abuelo's store every day. Abuelo always called out, Hola, mi amor. Her voice sounded like a faraway flute. Sometimes Rocio closed her eyes and pretended that she was back in Abuela's store. The smell of spicy peppers and burnt sugar danced in her nose, and Abuela's gentle voice played in her ears. She could hear, too, the soft rustling of piñatas that hung from the ceiling. Rocia missed the piñatas that Abuela made herself, how they swayed and whispered every time she walked into the store. And she missed the sweet treats made from marmalade, sweet milk, and fruit that spilled from them at celebrations. If only she had asked Abuela to make her a piñata to decorate her new room in the United States. Rocia missed other things, too. The buñuelos drizzled with honey that Abuela made for everyone, and the extra sweet coffee that Abuela made just for her. She missed Abuela's warm tortillas and the way they smelled fresh and sweet, like the damp earth after a soft rain. She missed the pretty song of her language. She missed going, gazing at the blue-black sky sprinkled with stars with Abuela at bedtime. Most of all, she missed Abuela. She looked up at the nighttime sky from the window of her new house. It was full of stars, too. Rocio searched for the brightest star and made a wish. In the morning, Rocio woke up to her mama, papa, her brother, and her sister singing Las Mañanitas. They were serenading her on the day of her birthday. Rosia smiled as they sang about the beauty of the morning she was born. Then Mama pointed to a box and said, You got a package in the mail this morning. Rosia jumped out of bed and ran to it. She recognized Abuela's crooked handwriting right away. Con mucho amor, with lots of love. Inside was a dazzling star made of bright ruffled paper. Shiny streamers hung from its pointed tips. Rocio took it out, and her eyes filled with tears. Her grandmother had made her a star-shaped piñata, and just the night before, you know, she was looking at the stars and missing her grandmother. And here on the box, it says, with lots of love, con mucho amor. Beneath it, she noticed a smaller package. 
a cloth towel stitched with Rocio's name. Rocio closed her eyes and held it to her cheek. She smelled the sweet, earthy smell. Inside were tortillas perfectly shaped by her abuela's gentle hands. Then she noticed one last gift, a picture of Abuela, Tia, and her cousins holding a banner in front of Abuela's grocery store. And it says, Feliz Campleanos, Rocio. Happy birthday, Rocio. Can you see the picture of all of them? Rocio kissed the picture and thought of the star she had wished on last night. Abuelo had plucked it from the sky and sent it to her. That night, the piñata hung above Rocio's bed. The picture sat on Rocio's nightstand, and Rocio blew Abuela a goodnight kiss. She watched as it traveled out the window. Can you see the kiss that she sends to her Abuela? Through the night sky, past so many stars, where it landed back home on Abuelo's cheek with lots of love. So her grandmother, Abuela, sends her a gift with lots of love, and she sends back a kiss to her grandmother with lots of love. It's a beautiful story, and I hope you've enjoyed it.